What's going on guys, welcome back to MD Fish Tanks and another build. So very recently, about a month ago actually, I built this Ekibana, I think it's pronounced Ekibana, I've been corrected, Ekibana Aquarium um, for just some shrimp and just keeping it small scale, but it's going really well and I have actually want to do it on a much larger scale. So I've got a cube aquarium that's been set up now for well over six months. It's home to one of my better fish, Mike. He's doing great, but you know, I want to go for something a little bit different. It's a bit crowded in there now, and I want to try the Ekibana Aquarium on a bigger scale, and I think I could pull it off and make it look really cool. So as you can see, I'm keeping the soil from the previous setup. This is because it's full of beneficial bacteria, which kind of means we get a head start with the next setup. And yes, you can see me rocking out some crocs and socks. Sometimes in life, you've just got to own these things. So we've got the aquarium sorted, we've got the lighting sorted. Now it's gonna be an Ekibana aquarium and for that we need the pots to put all the plants in. I don't actually have any, so let's go buy some. Perfect size, well they're a little small but we want lots of them. Maybe I'll find one big one to go with it, yeah? One big one? One big one? Okay, we'll look around because we've got plenty to choose from. <laughs> Right, so we're back from Ikea, and this is what I went for. I went for these sort of bowls, because I thought they looked kind of oriental looking. Maybe they don't, I don't know. Anyway, we've got that one. I've got this tall one here as well, which is actually a toothbrush holder. Um, and then I got four of these sort of bowls, but I only want one, but they came as a pack of four. And then this is one I actually found in the cupboard as well. So we've got a choice of pots to choose from there. I think the colors go quite nicely together and they're gonna look really good with green stems and red stems as well. So that's why I went for the colors like this because I, I was thinking of the plants that are gonna go in them and I think they should work well together. I might not need to use all four or, well, there's loads there actually, but all, all four different types, but I, I've just got some good options. I then decided that I wanted to put a background on the tank. Now this isn't complicated to do, just turn it on its side, spray some water down, peel back your, you know, your, your background, lay it on top, sticky side up, and then spray more water onto the sticky side, flip it round and lay it down gently so that you, know, you can see how I'm doing it there. And then you can push out any of the air bubbles with a plastic card or a rubber card or anything you want really. Just be gentle with it, you won't scratch it then. And then all you need to do is just get a razor blade and run it along all the edges. Really simple to do and I think it looks really good as well. So originally I put all the bowls in in a bit of a random formation and it doesn't really work. So I took them all out. I put them back in with kind of a triangular composition, a loose triangular composition, mind you. And I think it'll be really good to bank the substrate at the bottom of this tank, just so we can get some sort of depth perception with the bowls.
There we go, there we go. Now the vision's coming to life. So you can see we've got that sort of staggered stepping up effect that I really wanted. We've got a triangle composition going on. So last time people gave me stick for filling up the bowls while they're inside the aquarium saying, why don't you just take them out and do it? And the truth of the matter is it won't look as good unless I do it in the aquarium. So I'm gonna do that again. We just need to get our substrate now in the bottom of these bowls. Actually, first I think I'm gonna add some details around the bottom of the bowls with some of the Rio Zingu. Rio Zingu, Rio Zingu, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that like sort of coarser stone just to give details all around. So it's not so plain looking because I wanna go for something a little bit different with this build. Oh. Ow. Backstage, behind the scenes. This is what it actually looks like. There we go, look. Nice and tidy. Look at our beautiful set. And then, boom, we're tripping over everything. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know that looks a little bit rough at the moment, but trust me, with what I've got planned, it should all come together. I wanna to actually bring some details into the base of this one. Whereas obviously, on this one here, look, it's completely bare. Well, there's no point in us doing exactly the same thing again, is there? So I wanna do it a little bit different and it's gonna turn out really good, hopefully. Normally when I say that, it actually does. Maybe it won't this time, but we'll see. Of course, the beauty of this all is, is that all I've got to do is take out those bowls, sift the sand again if I don't like it. So all good, just, just try things. If you're unsure, just give stuff a go. Maybe it'll work out awesome, maybe it won't. You won't know unless you try. So we've got the Tropica substrate powder in. So what this basically is, is a really nutrient rich dry dirt. And it's it's the sort of thing you have to completely cap. You don't want any of that getting into the water column. But before I cap it, I'm gonna put in some of the um, nutrition capsules as well. Let me focus to use my nose to press the button. There we go, yeah, <laughs> nutrition capsules for aquariums. Um, it, again, this is like NPK mix. It's just like m even more nutrients. I'm gonna put it right on the top there and then cap that whole lot with some more of this white sand. Then we can plant into the sand and that'll easily hold all of our plants in and anchor them down. So we're ready for planting, but like I said, in the previous setup, we've just got plants on their own, but in this one, I wanna do it differently. And for that reason, I'm gonna be putting some of the wood from the previous setup into that back bowl. I think it will just bring a bit more interest to the scape and add another element. That looks sweet, I think. Right, I was gonna actually bring some more of this wood sort of creeping down into the other bowls, but I don't wanna take any of the space up, you know, for, for planting. I want full plants. I've actually left a good amount of space as well, look, in the front there for some plants. And then there's also loads in the back for the stems. We've got that pot there. Oh, camera's falling. <laughs> there we go, got it. Yeah, and then I just wanna keep those front bowls completely clear for planting. And then foreground, Lots of nice little bits of moss and things like that. And actually the sand is deep there as well, so we can put a little bit of a carpet and plant as well. Just hints of it, just for some extra detail. But as usual, I've got absolutely tons of plants to choose from. Look at all of that Rotala in there. Oh, trying to focus on the reflections. All that Rotala in there, Rotala green. We've got that milfoil, I think it's called, that stuff. We've got some Rotala HR popping up in the middle there. Rotunda folio at the side. I've got absolutely tons of plants to choose from, loads more Rotala Red. In this tank here, I've got all the moss to choose from that we can use in the foreground. There's also a little bit of Trident Fern and some Crypt Parva there as well. That'll go in there nicely. This tank over here, which is the freshwater reef style tank, it's got loads of nice little bits of Hydrocotyl Japan. We can use that. And I've also got a load growing in this little tank I've got down here, which the light isn't on at the moment for. But And then we've obviously got the original Ekabana Aquarium. We've got some Limnophila we can use, some more Rotala up the top, more Rotala, more Rotala, more Limnophila, and then you've got the AR Mini as well in the middle. We can do hello, hello little fella. <laughs> so yeah, we've got loads of plants to choose from and I'm gonna be able to fill up those bowls in no time at all.
the scape is coming along brilliantly, but if you wanted to just keep the bowls and plant into those, then you can stop there and that's fine. But for this one, I wanna push it a little bit further and bring some stuff out onto the rocks as well at the front. I wanna utilize some of the really nice moss I've got in my angelfish aquarium. It stays beautifully compact and I think that'll look really neat and tidy in the foreground of this aquascape. Okay, that looks great. I really like that I've added that moss. That was uh, an inspired move by myself, even if I do say. But anyway, I think now's a really good time to fill up with water because the last planting that I want to do is it works better when there's water in the tank because you can see where it's all going to lay. And also I can see any gaps I need to fill in. So yes, yeah, fill it up. So the aquarium's actually been set up for nearly a week now, it's come along really nicely and as you can see I added a little CO2 system to it just to give it a good boost before I bring out this video. Okay, so I was going to get that massive sheet of plastic and then I saw these little bits here, like there's a few of them just being chucked out. Well, I only need a little bit, don't I? So that'll be perfect it's actually the right length as well and clean it up a bit obviously there's a few scratches but who cares it'll do the job nicely So that's all looking fantastic, but there's one thing that we still need to put in, and that is a little mini heater. That's turned out pretty darn decent, considering the fact that I didn't even have that plastic, I just found it in the waste. It's great, great to do things like that. I've just saved myself 30 quid, which is like, I don't know, nearly $40, like just from picking up some rubbish and cutting it up. And I think it looks good as well. All right. It doesn't look as good as having no lid at all, but we've got to put the fish first. And Mike is a jumper, 
Speaking of Mike, it's time to get him and his shrimp friends into this tank. Yes, he does have shrimp friends. The shrimp that will be going in the tank with him have survived in that tank now for over six months, so hopefully they will continue to do so. I'll put the shrimp in first so they can find hiding spaces and then put Mike in. <laughs> 